Now the YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Blightfall. We are ready and raring to go today, guys. It is episode 24, and I, I think it's 24. Is it 24, or is it 25? I don't know, I can't remember which episode it is. But anyways, um, I have been very, very busy, guys. And I said that last episode, it might take me a while to be able to get to the stuff together so that I can get on with the next episode. And it took me quite a while to be able to get the stuff together to carry on with the next episode. <laughs> So, um, I want to go through what I've done in between episodes for you guys. I've set it up automated alchemy. Now, if you don't know what this is, guys, basically, it means that I don't have to just chuck things into a crucible and, uh, and let aspects just fly away into the air and then just, you know, make a right mess of everything. Basically, it's automated alchemy. You go into here, you can make whatever it is that you want to make by putting the uh, required ingredient in there. So, th in this case, it would be a spider eye to make a crystalline eye. Um, and also, you just need a few of these aspects. Now, what would happen is you get some jars, and I've got quite a few jars kicking around now, but you get some jars, you pop them down here, and you get the aspects out of certain items into the jars, and then you plug the jars in here, here, and I've got one over here as well. That will allow me to get three different aspects into one s uh, single item, and it just means that, uh, you know, there's not none of the mess. Um, and it's all automated and brilliant. I, and really, it's helped me quite a lot, especially for this episode uh, with the crystalline eye and a couple of other bits and bobs that I've needed to do. The other thing that I did was I stabilized the infusion setup. Now, it isn't massively stabilized. Uh, I just made a load of tallow candles and then placed them all around uh, so that at least there's some sort of stabilizers going on there because of something that I need to create. And I've already created it, guys, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, use the energy oh yeah that's right I, sorry I, t I took a lot of notes um to show you guys what i've been doing so to get nether quartz i uh i got another leadstone energy cell i've basically got that and then i pul pulverized a load of nether quartz down because i didn't want to just smelt it up to one single nether quartz i wanted to get as much nether quartz as i could from it so i g did the pulverizer you know put it into the pulverizer and then j i had to get another leadstone energy cell because i run out of uh uh, I run out of, of energy. And the way that you do that, guys, is just go into the supplier. Find it. There it is. Go into the supplier. And over here, there's a request leadstone refill, uh, which is great. Ooh, hang on a minute. How do I do that? Oh, that's probably because I need to actually make one, though. Fair enough. Um, right, let's go back. What else have I done? Changed alchemy to have netherrack so I could use the night. Oh, okay, yeah. What I did was underneath here, there was a piece of night ore which allows you know to, uh, oops, which allows you to heat the cauldron. But I needed the night ore, and uh, I took the night ore back up and I put the netherrack down there with some flames underneath. Now what I also did was I travelled, guys, all the way over to the floating island by this right. This floating island right here, um, underneath here. I blocked up a little bit, and there's some uh, some glowstone under there. I needed glowstone. I couldn't do anything without glowstone. So I went uh, uh, went ahead and got a little bit of glowstone. Not too much. Now, I've only got eight glowstone left, so I'll have to make another trip down there. But it was a right pain in the backside to be able to get up to it. Um, so I will need to get some more at some stage. But that's what I've done in between episodes. I've also got all of the stuff ready for this particular episode. I've got some dense red crystal, which is from Artemagy got some crystalline eye and a node stabilizer, remote comparator, a vis reader, and the advanced node stabilizer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a massive node, and I really want to be able to do that today. I want to get that episode done, um, and I want to be able to be in a position at the end of this episode that I can just leave it, and I know that I will come back, and then I will have a node that's pretty big. So it'd be great. This one only has the three aspects in there at the moment. I really want one that probably has Humanus in uh, the um, in the node. So I'm qu I'm, I'll have to wander around and see if I can find one. Somebody did say that there's actually a decent one over on the Eerie Island, so I'll have to uh, give that one a try and, and have a look, see if I can find one somewhere over there. But basically, the reason why is because that splits down into all of the different compound, uh, you know, all of the different aspects um, that it starts with. So, say for example, Terra, Ordo, um, Ignis, you know, all of the basic aspects it has, uh, it, will split, it will split down into. And that's the type of node that I want to make into a big node, because that means that any other node that I bring over and then allow it to get, you know, 
um, taken over by the bigger node, it will have all of the aspects that I will need. So this one's not particularly big. I need a big, big node to be able to do it, for, to be able for this to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and try to find a node with the Humanus in there and uh, we'll see what we can do. But the reason why I'm doing this now, guys, is I really need something that will allow me to charge my Silverwood wand constantly because this thing, it's all, it's all well and good, you know, I, and it's great, or, you know, having all of these nodes kicking around the place. But if I've got one central area I can go to, stick it on the wand recharge pedestal and then go from there. Um, it would just be so much easier. It would be so much easier to have one massive node that I can charge all of my stuff from. Now, of course, you know you can say that uh, there is that wand from Britannia in, but I've do I've done that in I've done that in my Thorncraft and Britannia Unite series. And although you know I like Britannia, I haven't started on Britannia yet, so I haven't got the I haven't got the uh, the setup that I need to be able to get to that far. So I may as well do things the Thorncraft way, so that I didn't really do that in my Thorncraft and Britannia Unite series, I did it the uh, Britannia way. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go out and find a node and I'll be back once I have. Okay, I am slightly annoyed, I have to say. I have so many waypoints that aren't there any longer. I don't know why. But the transporter beacon seems to have forgotten all of my places. I can go to the jaded, and I can now go back to here because I've managed to find it again. But it seems that all of my places have been wiped off the map. Now this is really annoying because they, they oh no. I have to go all the way down there to be able to find that thing again. Now what I reckon I will do instead, my god you're making a racket, let me go over here. What I think I will do instead is change myself over into cheat mode if I can, do it that way, and then fly around the place and unlock all of the areas again because, oh man, that's going to take forever. I can't believe it. So be very, very, very careful, guys, when you update Blightfall. Be aware that this has forgotten all of the different places. That is hell of annoying. Okay, guys, well, I had a look around and I went over to the eerie biome, but unfortunately, uh, the one that it says is in the barrow didn't actually have Humanus in there. Now, if I can manage to find an aura node around the place that does have Humanus in it, then that would be decent because that, when you energize that particular node, it will break it down into all of the basic ones, as I described earlier. But we're not going to be energizing the node, or at least not like that anyway. Now, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you how this particular thing is going to work. We're going to make a big node. We're going to be assimilating nodes, so we might as well use what we've already got here, uh, which is one with six Terra, um, four Peditio, and seven Victus that you can see inside here. So what we want to do with this is put the node stabilizer, just the node stabilizer, we want to put that underneath that one. So now that is stabilized. If you have a look inside, not the quest book, the Thormonomicon. If you don't know how this works, guys, I'm just going to give a quick introduction about how node stabilizers work. So what this will do is, you can see, firstly prevents the node from being uh, from draining Vs from other nodes, or being drained in turn. Secondly, it prevents unstable nodes from losing their Vs, and it has a tiny chance of eventually removing the unstable condition completely. Okay. Um, lastly, it has a very, very small chance of turning fading nodes into pale nodes. The, this requires power, however, and the node stabilizer draws this from the node itself. It does not draw enough to reduce the Vs of the node, but it does half its normal recharge rate. What we want to do with this is right next to it, we want to put... Ah, oh, you know what? Actually, that's the wrong way around. Come here. That's the wrong way around. I actually want to use that one as the main node, or at least I'm going to attempt to use that one as the main node. So what I'm going to do with that is I put the advanced node stabilizer down there. And I don't want to do that, guys. Don't want to do that. I want to put that on that one. What the advanced node stabilizer will do, as you can see, firstly, it still prevent lesser nodes from having their Vs drained, but it does allow stabilized nodes to drain the Vs from lesser ones. Okay? So what we... I, I'm hoping that I can start by getting the smaller nodes that are around the place, and if it doesn't work, and I can always, you know, move this entire setup anyway. So, what this will do is it will prevent for it will prevent it from being um, zapped and taking any Vs from it, but it will zap other nodes. At least that's what the hope is. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the node stabilizer right there. We're going to get another node and put it onto here. All right, now I'm going to go to sleep. 
and I'm going to, I've got some glass and I've got some oak wood slabs. I just need a little bit more terror in my wand to be able to do this. Uh, so when I've got the node, I'll be back. Well, I actually thought I needed more terror when in reality, I didn't. <laughs> I actually had more than enough terror. I thought it was 70, but it's 50, I forget. Right, okay. So we've got a node in a jar here. It's got two terror, five ignis, four ordo, three air, and three victors. That is actually a better node to start with. So let me take this over here and jingle this system around a little bit. So, oops, I'm running again. I really should stop running. I really need to stop running. Okay, so let me grab this, because that's not the one that's going to be doing the biz. The biz. This one is the one that's going to be doing the biz. So let me put that right there and get that like that. Get my little wand thing. There we go. So what we want to do quickly, because I'm an idiot, is we want to stabilize this node and also stabilize this node with the smaller one. So none of them, they won't drain from each other now because they're both stabilized, they won't zap each other and you know, all is well with the world at the moment. What we want to do is get all of the Vs from this one here. It's got Pedetio and Terra in there. Uh, and as you can see, this one has no Pedetio, but it does have Terra in there. I want to make this one the massive node. So I have a Vs reader, which I am going to place right there. In fact, let me just make a bit of space here. There we go. And a little bit more space around here. So what's going to happen eventually is I'm going to have one massive node and um, these nodes that are right next to it, this one, will eventually just disappear. It's going to take time, guys, and I have, you know, it is going to take a lot, a lot of time. And I will be, you know, I'll make sure to uh, leave this running on in the background so that it can get it, uh, so it can get it done. I want a dense red crystal, but first and foremost, let's go into, oh, hang on a minute, I haven't done the remote comparator. Let's put the remote comparator on the top. Uh, we want the crystalline eye on this node right here. So there we go. And then we'll pop that onto there. So now that is reading that node. Can I go into here? Oh, I forgot. I've got to do it with my thing, haven't I? So what we want to do is put the mode in any low mode, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, and what we would like to do now... So what that will do, basically, is when the node... Oops. Put that back on there. Any low mode... <clears throat> any low mode... So it will look in there, and it will. When anything has gone too low, um, it emits a redstone signal based on like how low the node is. So, say for example, there is six terra there. When that drops to say three, it will emit a redstone signal. But what we what we want to do is we want a dense red crystal. We want to place that right there. So, as you can see, it's actually already started. We need to turn that down to 10, I think. I think so. So what that will do now is that node will start zapping away at this node, or at least I hope it should. That is, I want to see that happening. Please. You are a slightly bigger node. I'm not sure if you are a bigger node, though, because that's got... Uh, Hmm. I'll have to leave it for a second to see if it's actually going to start zapping away. So this, what this will do, like I said, the advanced node stabilizer stabilizes the node, but it will also allow that node to zap any of the other smaller, lesser nodes that are around the place. This one doesn't look to see as if it's working, even though it's right next to it. That's disappointing. It means that that node is not bigger than that one. They're probably round about the same size because they've come out of a silverwood tree. I think what I need to do is go out into the world and find an actual node that's quite big. So let me go and have a look what would be the best node for this particular job. Um, let's scroll down here. There's a load of nodes. That one wouldn't be a bad one. Air, aqua, and terra especially because I haven't got much terra around here. So let's mark that one on the map. And it's that way, 593 blocks. I think it's on the water um, over there. I think it's on the water. I'm pretty sure it is. So what we're going to do is I will take this redstone, this dense redstone crystal up for the moment. I'll let that uh, do its business. I need to move this system. I will need to move this system now because these nodes are going to be stuck here. I don't want to use all of my uh, the power in my wand. And I'm going to go and get a bigger node. 
Okay, I should have enough to grab this node. Yay, it's good stuff. Now, I've had to use some of the terror that's inside here, guys, to be able to get this node because I run out of terror. So I just nicked a little bit of the terror, and there is that in the node there. Hopefully, it still keeps its uh, regeneration thing and what have you. So let's go and grab that. And I need to... Where's my boat gone? Where's my boat gone? I swear to God. Ugh. I'm going to need to go back down to uh, there, guys, the little ship, and then transport myself all the way back over to my house. Okay, we are back at home with our brand new node, guys. Let's pop this down, and let's get it open. There we go. So, wow. What happened? Where did everything go? Why did that just, like, go all the way to the bottom there? I have no idea. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, what? What? What the heck happened? Why has it gone all... Meh. <laughs> has it got to regenerate or something? Well, one of the aquas come back. There's no terror yet. Fingers crossed the terror comes back, because that's one of the biggest things that I need. The aqua is slowly coming back, but I need the terror. I need, 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 need that terror. Please do not disappear, terror. Please. Oh, no, no. Well, those two there. I don't know if they're going to start zapping each other or what. Oh, it looks as if they are. Look, because the um, the zero on the that's that's. Uh, I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but uh, what can we do? I was bound to lose a few to this thing in the first place. So, let me go ahead and do what it is that I was going to do in the first place. Uh, remember, this is going to be the big node. This is going to be the one that I want things to zap. So, we're going to stabilize it by slapping that underneath. Good stuff. So, next to it is going to be the node that um, we are going to be using to feed it with. So, it looks as if I'm going to need some more anyway. Some more nodes. I might just go and grab that node from over there, actually. Oh, mind you, they're both right next to each other. So I'd have to destroy one to be able to get to it. Please bring your terror back. Please bring your terror back. I really want it. Yeah, I heard it zap. The thing is that they're both similar sizes, so I was just wondering. I don't think it would have been able to work with these. That's sad. That is really sad. Please come back, terror! Oh, no! It's gone! It's gone, guys. No, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. Ah, oh, dear me. Right, give me some time, guys, and I'm going to get this whole thing sorted out. I do apologize that this episode is dragging on a little bit. Not just dragging on, but it's dragging on me actually recording it and getting it done because it's just taking so long to be able to do this. I do apologize. Okay, we are back, and I've got everything set up to where we, it should be. I've went and got a bigger node, guys. This one is definitely bigger. Um, and I went and got a smaller node, which is the one that was just over there. So I'm now missing a node from over there as well. But it should be fine, guys. So what we want to do is just open that up. Yes, and now that is actually um, done. So, we need to do this. Oh, yeah, and I destroyed those two nodes, guys. That's why I've got some of this stuff here. So, let me go ahead and link that to that, put that into there, and there we go. So, what should now happen is this will zap away at this one, because it's smaller. The node is definitely smaller than what this one is. This one's big. So, what we should see is some zapping. Please tell me we see some zapping going on. Please? <laughs> I am reading this right, aren't I? And I am remembering this right, aren't I? First thing still prevent lesser nodes from having their Vs drained, but it does allow stabilized nodes to drain the Vs from lesser ones. Secondly, as it yeah, so it should do. This should work fine. Should. Are you gonna zap for me, please? Just one single zap will show me it's working and I can leave it going. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Why are you not zapping? Am I missing something here? I'm pretty sure I'm not. 
That's what I wanted to see. I've left it running just a little bit, guys, and I did hear a couple of zaps going on there whilst I was looking to make sure that I've done everything right. But the fact that this has now turned on means that it is, in fact, working. The Peditio has now gone down to a number one. So basically what this will do is it will have a chance now of being able to um, get that vise back and what have you, and this thing will have a chance of being able to get the vise from this. So the reason why I wanted it to do this was because I don't want it to keep zapping it until it's at zero because I won't get as much out of this node as I want to do. So this one has turned itself on until it actually replenishes that back or it won't actually replenish it back and it'll lose it. So it will... Uh, you know what? I'm going to link to you guys... In the description below, a video by, there we go, a video by Belgabor. Um, and you know, if for people on my channel, they will know who Belgabor is. And the, he's done this kind of setup. And he shows it and goes into it in detail, guys, in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Because uh, this is where I've got it from. There is other ways of doing it, that other people do it. So you can just have one there and then just have these like laying around. But the fact that this stabilizes and doesn't allow uh, to get zapped again, will just give it that chance to get some Vs back um, so that it can zap a little bit more from it. And I think it's something you get, well, there we go, that was a nice little zap right there. I'm just waiting for some of this, I'm hoping, Terra and Ignis go across. I don't know if they do, though. That's the problem. I don't know if they do go across. I'm hoping that they do, but I'll have to keep an eyeball on it. Anyway, that's going to be it for the end of this episode today, guys. It's taken me that long to do it that I'm afraid that this won't be going out on the Monday. It'll probably be going out on the Tuesday. And hopefully, I can leave this running and give it enough time so that we can come back and we can see something has changed with this particular node right here. I'm just going to leave it running, though, guys. And uh, I will be back next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you're enjoying this episode, please go ahead and leave a like. It would be brilliant if you could. And, uh, yes, I will see you guys. Oh, by the way, as well, um, I'll probably explain this in the next episode because people might have shut off already. But you can do this on all three, uh, sorry, on all four sides of the advanced node stabilizer. So you can put one right here, you can put it right here, and you can put it right here. But be aware um, that you might have zapping between the two smaller ones if they are open. At least because they're so close. So, oh, there's actually one Victor that disappeared. Yes! Okay, that's what I wanted to see as well. So it will take the uh, the Terra and Ignis eventually. But we've now got a little bit of Victus in there, guys. And that might actually replenish from here. So we will uh, we will keep an eye on that. We'll see how it goes. So until next time, guys, I'm the Toughman. As always, stay safe.